addition of decimal numbers. While adding the decimal numbers, it will be easier if we use the place value grid. Place value of decimal numbers we have learnt in the previous term. So, in the decimal point, the place value is tens, hundreds, like that, thousand, and it will go on like that. Okay. So, first let us write the given numbers in the place value grid before adding. First, it is 30.9. So, 30.9, 30 is the whole number. So, ones and tens, only two places are there. So, tens in the ones place you have to write 0 and in the tens place you have to write 3. After in the decimal, after the decimal point, the decimal number is 0.9 only. So, in the tens place you can write 9, but in the hundreds place there is no value, so it is 0. So, 30.9 is written in the place value grid. Now, we have to write the number 52.73. So, 52 is the whole number, in the tens place it is 5 and in the ones place it is 2. In the tenth place, so that is the first place after the decimal point. So, 7 is there, so in the tenth place we have to write 7 and in the hundreds place we have to write 3. So, 2 numbers were given, now we can add it. So, 0 plus 3 it is 3, tenths. 9 plus 7 it is 16, so I have write 6 here and 1 is carry over. 1 plus 2 it is 3, now here 3 plus 5 it is 8. So, while adding 30.9 and 52.73 we get 83.63. Now, the second subdivision is also given there 25.67 plus 33.856. So, but here in the second number in the decimal point 3 digits are there 8, 5, 6, 3 digits were there. So, uh, in the place value grid you have to write tens, hundreds as well as thousand. Okay. So, first 25.67, so 25 in tens and ones 25, tens place 6 hundreds place 7 and in the thousands place we can write 0. Next number 33.856. So, 3, 3, 8, 5, 6. Now, let us add 0 plus 6 it is 6, 7 plus 5 it is 12. So, 2 is here and 1 is carry over. So, 6 plus 1 7, 7 plus 8 it is 15. So, 5 is here and again 1 is carry over. So, 5 plus 3, 8 plus 1, 9, 2 plus 3, 5. So, while adding this 2 number we get 59.526. You can draw one more line here to mark the decimal point. Okay. So, in the number ko, whole number ko, decimal numbers ko nadula, you can draw a dark line or double line. So, that you could differentiate the whole number part and the decimal part. Next example, every day Mala travels 1.820 kilometer by bus and 295 meters by walk to reach the school. Find the distance of the school from her house in kilometer. So, she is traveling 1.820 kilometer by bus and 295 meters by walk. So, we have to find the total distance. So, first distance travel by bus it is 1.820 kilometers. Distance travel by walk or distance covered by walk it is 295 meter, but we have to find the answer in kilometers. So, I write 295 meter as 1 kilometer is 1000 meter. So, 295 meter means we have to divide it by 1000 to convert it into kilometer that is 0 0.295 kilometer. So, 1.820 plus 0 0.295 while adding this two numbers you get 2.5. 
2.115 kilometer. You can use the place value grid to add these two numbers, but if you are uh, free to add it directly you can do this, but you have to do this without any mistake. So, better use place value grid to add two decimal numbers, first make it as a practice then you can add it directly. Okay. Subtract 2.85 from 4.97. So, from 4.97 you have to subtract 2.85. So, 4.97 minus 2.85 is equal to what we have to find. So, 4.97 I write it in the place value grid. So, only one whole number is there 4 matter. So, it is in the ones place. 9 7 that is 9 and 7. Next 2.85 that is 2 in the 1's place, 8 in the 10th place and 5 in the 100th place. Now, we have to subtract it. So, 7 minus 5 it is 2, 9 minus 8 it is 1 and 4 minus 2 is 2. So, the answer is 2.12 while subtracting these two numbers we get 2.12. Look at this example, subtract 32.042 from 86.9, from 86.9 you have to subtract 32.042. Here they are not using the place value grid, but the subtraction can be done directly also. So, 86.9 in the second place it is 32.042, but here 2, 3 decimal places are there, but here only 1 decimal number is there. So, so to equalize this 2 they have added 2 zeros at the end. You can add any number of zeros at the end in a decimal number. Matha numbers ka add pannao na value maari ro. 1 pakatla 2 zero add pannao the 100 aayadao. Uh, 1000 pakatla inno rendu zero add panna 1 lakh aido. but for the decimal numbers you can add any number of zeros at the right end it will not change the value 86.9 is equal to 86.900 purida so now we can subtract it so from zero you can't subtract two so we have to borrow so, here also 0 is there, so 9 will become 8, this 0 will become 9 and this 0 will become 10. So, 10 minus 2 it is 8, 9 minus 4 it is 5, 8 minus 8, 8 minus 0 it is 8, here 6 is there, 6 minus 2 it is 4 and 8 minus 3 it is 5. So, while subtracting we get 54.858. Next problem, Narayan bought 7.4 kg of mangoes. On the way home, he gave 4.650 kg of mangoes to his sister's family. Find the weight of the remaining mangoes. First, he bought 7.4 kg. On the way, he gave 4.650 kg. Okay, now, we have to find the weight of the remaining mangoes. So, mangoes bought by Narain it is 7.4, mangoes given to Narain sister it is 4.650 kg, mangoes left that is the remaining mangoes we have to subtract this. So, 7.4 minus 4.650, so 7.400 minus 4.650, edhukku 4 kapra rendu 0 potrukkaanga? Here we have 3 decimal numbers. So, to equalize this we have added 2 more zeros in this number also. Now, we can subtract this 7.400 minus 4.650. So, 0 minus 0 it is 0. From 0 you could in subtract 5. So, from 4 you can borrow it will 3 and it is 10, 10 minus 5 is 5. Here 3 is there we cannot subtract 6, 
so we can borrow so 7 becomes 6 and it is become 13 13 minus 6 it is 7 decimal point decimal point straight arukono while adding or subtracting 6 minus 4 it is 2 2.750 decimal point careful of economa that's why we are insisting you to use the place value grid first is the place value grid put in Allah practice panna parahe you can subtract them directly so the answer is 2.750 kg